Hi, my name is Taylor, and in this lesson, we're going to learn about a group of people called the Vikings, a period in history referred to as the Viking Age, and what historians have learned about this group of explorers' journey to North America. Let's go! Your first question might be, who were the Vikings? Perhaps you've seen a depiction of a Viking in a movie, video game, or cartoon. They are often shown wearing horned helmets that look something like this. While some Vikings may have worn this extravagant headwear for display, most historians have concluded that the Viking people more likely wore hornless iron helmets like this. The Vikings were a group of Norse explorers, hunters, traders, and warriors from the region in northeastern Europe now known as Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. This region of the world is sometimes referred to as Scandinavia. The Vikings spoke a language that we now refer to as Old Norse. They also had their own religion and form of currency, or the system of money they used, made from silver. When we talk about Vikings, it's important that we talk about money, because Vikings loved money. In fact, making money and collecting treasure was the main motivation for Viking exploration. And those tough helmets made from hammered iron? Can you guess why this group of people may have worn helmets? If you guess that they were worn for battle, you're right! Over time, the Vikings became seafaring warriors, meaning they regularly traveled by sea, attacking other people for valuable goods. They used their iron headwear for face protection while they fought to steal precious merchandise. As expert sailors, they used their knowledge to attack and thieve merchant boats in the Baltic Sea. In 793 CE, the Vikings attacked a Christian monastery on the shores of northeastern England. Unlike most of Europe at the time, the Vikings were not of Christian faith and took advantage of the vulnerable and undefended monasteries, looting the holy buildings for treasure. While the Vikings did not destroy the monastery, the attack shocked Europe. This marked the start of the Viking Age, which lasted until 1066 CE. Maybe you've heard the word raid before. Sometimes, when we're suddenly feeling hungry, we might raid our kitchen pantry looking for the perfect snack. While this is a funny way of referring to a snack attack, a real raid is defined as a sudden attack on an enemy by a group of warriors. The Vikings raided many, and mainly focused their raids on England, Wales, and Ireland. These raids against Europe were often violent, and as the Vikings gained wealth, they also became known as great and feared warriors. Around 870 CE, a group of Vikings began to colonize Iceland, an island in the North Atlantic Ocean where humans had not yet settled in large numbers. In Iceland, they formed communities that were centered around growing crops and raising livestock. Later, in 980 CE, a dispute broke out between a famous Norwegian Viking named Eric the Red and a neighbor whom he had lent valuable decorative furnishings. Yes, they fought over furniture. Can you believe that? A confrontation between the two men resulted in the death of several people. For his involvement, Eric the Red was punished by being forced to exile. This means that he was forced out of the country. He and his family left Iceland by ship, sailing west to an uncharted island that he later named Greenland. One of Eric the Red's son's names was Leif. Leif is often referred to as Leif Erikson because he is Eric's son. Original, right? After Eric the Red died, Leif Erikson sailed back to their original homeland of Norway. Leif, influenced by the King of Norway, converted to Christianity before returning to Greenland. This is where things really get interesting. It's a bit of a mystery for historians as to what exactly happened next. Most information at this time was transferred orally, meaning it was spoken from one person to the next rather than written. Have you ever played the game Telephone? 
If you have, you may know that a simple phrase or story can quickly morph into something quite different when it's being passed from one person to the next. This is one reason why sometimes historians have multiple theories about historical events. Let's take a closer look at what historians speculate may have happened. In one theory, the weather may have had an impact. It's speculated that Leif became lost in fog on his return to Greenland and accidentally landed on the banks of North America around year 1000 CE. This theory is known as the Eric Saga. The other theory, known as the Saga of the Greenlanders, says Leif met an Icelandic trader who told him of a sailing route to a new land, which we now, of course, know as North America. The Icelandic trader said he had seen North America from his ship, but had never set foot on the land. So, did Leif Erikson accidentally find North America, or was his journey to this new land intentional? Though these sagas differ, historians believe that he landed on the eastern coast of what we now call Canada. He arrived to find many wild grapes growing and called this land Vinland, or Vineland in English. This area of Canada is now called Newfoundland. After spending a winter in North America, Leif Erikson returned to Greenland where he told many people about the land that he found. Soon after, nearly a hundred Viking settlers made their way to Vinland in hopes of establishing a new settlement or community. But the Viking settlers did not stay for long due to the hostile relationship they had with the indigenous people on the land. The phrase indigenous people refers to native people or the first people who lived in a particular region. The Viking Age is now remembered in history as a time of large scale raiding and trading. These skilled sea raiders navigated the Baltic and North American seas with their expert navigational skills. While the Vikings did not permanently settle or have a lasting impact in North America during this time period, Leif Erikson is credited with being the first known European to set foot in North America over 500 years before Christopher Columbus arrived. It's time to practice what you learned about Viking explorers in the Americas. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. You never know what you might discover. Hey.